off to work we go. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. Once upon a time, Peabody Coal and their adjusters ruled over the work comp plan. One winter day, the adjuster was doing legal work while through the window when a bird flew distracting the adjuster and pricked her finger. A single drop of blood fell on the snow white outside her window as she looked at the blood on the snow. She said, <coughs> Oh, how I have, wish I had an employee that had skin as tough as leather, works as tight as a mouse, and skin as tough as wool. The adjuster got their wish, and Peabody hired a girl who had skin tough as leather, lips as quiet as a mouse, and muscles as strong as a bull. They called her Snow White. But sadly, the adjuster died. Soon after, Peabody hired a new adjuster who was strong and work comp savvy. She had studied the work comp law and owned a magic mirror of which she was asked daily. <laughs> weaver, weaver on the wall. Chelsea Miller, Who's the smartest of them all? Chelsea Miller, call pick up one. Who are the smartest of them all? This pleased the adjuster. She knew that her magical mirror could speak only the truth. One morning, the adjuster asked, Weaver, Weaver on the wall, who's the smartest of them all? You, my adjuster, are the smartest of them all. It's true. But Snow White, the claimant, is even smarter than you. <laughs> the adjuster was very angry and ordered her assistant to deny all future medical care for Snow White. Go to your desk, take the file, and deny it, and record the call for proof. <laughs> so the assistant did as she was told. The poor assistant took the benefits and sent an on-hold letter. <laughs> I'm the most powerful of them all. Meanwhile, Snow White is all alone in the work comp world. Oh, I'm all alone and I don't know what to do. She began to run with the limp. And guess <laughs> that the evening was about to fall, she saw a little office, Banowski and Associates, and went inside. Oh, this office is so beautiful and so clean. The desk was organized and there were checks and cash everywhere. I'm so poor, I think I'll take a few dollars from the desks. Since she was so sore and tired, she lay down on one of the desks and fell asleep. After dark, the attorneys returned to their office. They were the seventh petitioner attorneys who minded for gold in the world of work cops. As soon as they arrived in their office, they knew someone had been there. Who's been sitting in my chair? Who's been touching my chest? Who took my cash? Who touched my files? Who touched my ibuprofen? <laughs> Who messed up with my change? But the seventh one, looking at the desk, found Snow White laying there asleep. Look over here, come quick. The seven attorneys all came running up and they cried with amazement. Oh, oh good heavens, heavens, this claimant is beautiful. <laughs> they, did not, they did not wake her. The next morning, Snow White woke up and when she saw the seven attorneys, she was frightened. Oh no, don't be afraid of us. Tell us what your name is. My name is Snow White. How did you find your way to our office? My adjuster tried to deny my benefits. Then her assistant tried to help me out. I had to run with a limp the entire day through the forest, and then I finally found your house. The attorney spoke with each other for a while and then said, Creepy. If you will give us 20% of your settlement and exaggerate your injury, go to physical therapy, pain management, and have lots of surgeries, and keep your story nice and orderly. Then you can stay with us, Achoo! and we'll get you all the money that you want. Yes, with all my heart. So Snow White worked happily with the attorneys. Every day she went to physical therapy, and in the evening, when she came to their office, she worked and kept her story nice and orderly. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the greatest in work comp land of them all? You are my adjusters. Are smart, it is true, but that claimant, Snow White, beyond the mountains, Now I understand. My assistant has deceived me. I will have to think of something. She went unto her office and made a poisoned apple. Now I've got her. I've got this poisoned apple. I will just have to make a disguise and she will die. <laughs> 
From the outside, the apple was beautiful and shiny, but anyone who might eat the apple, a little piece of the apple, would have died. I am going to go disguise myself so she cannot recognize me. <laughs> she traveled to the office and knocked at the door. Snow White put her head out of the window and said, I must not speak or let anyone in. Would you like a piece of one of my sweet apples? No, I cannot accept anything from Majestic. Are you afraid of poison? Look, I'll cut one in half. I'll eat half and you can eat the other half. Well, all right, I see that you also ate part of it, so I'll take the other. She barely had a bite in her mouth when she fell to the ground dead. Ha ha ha. White as snow, the attorney shall never awaken you. Goodbye, Snow White. Back at home, she asked her mirror. Who is in work comp land is the smartest of them all. You, my adjuster, are the smartest of them all. When the attorneys returned that evening, they saw Snow White laying on the ground. No way, wake up, what happened to you? She took too many painkillers. she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> they lifted her up and looked out for her for a long time. No way, wake up, please, talk to us. But nothing helped, she was dead. They laid her on the bed of straw and all seven attorneys sat next to her and cried for three days. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were going to bury her, but she still looked as fresh as a living person. We cannot bury her in the black earth. Let's make a transparent coffin so that we can see her from all sides. And they did. They put her inside the coffin. <laughs> Creepy. On the outside of the mountain, and one of us will have to stay with it and watch over her. Yes, yes we, we will, will do, do that. that. One day, Jim Spiros entered into the wood. He saw the coffin on the mountain with the beautiful Snow White in it. Let me have the coffin. Twenty percent of what she receives. <laughs> we will not sell her for all the gold in the world. Then give her to me. I cannot live without settling this claim. <laughs> The attorneys felt sorry for Spiros and gave him the coffin. Yes, we will do that. <laughs> Spiros had them carry the coffin away, but then it happened that one of them stumbled on some brush. Be careful. Watch your step. I will never forgive you if something happens to her. But this dis... This dislodged from Snow White's throat a piece of poison apple. She opened up her eyes, lifted from the lid of her coffin, and was alive again. Where am I? You are with me. I love you. Come with me and eat my plan. <laughs> At that moment, Snow White fell in love with Jim Spiros. Her trial was planned with intelligence and much fraud. The adjuster was invited to the trial, but before leaving her office, she asked her mirror. Beer, weaver, weaver on the wall. <laughs> who's, the greatest, who's the smartest of them all? You, my adjuster, are smart, it's true. But the young claimant is a thousand times more smarter than you. I'll have to see that for myself. When she arrived at the trial, she saw Snow White. Get this adjuster out of the courtroom. And the trial proceeded, and no one ever saw that evil adjuster who lost her job. <laughs> and Snow White and Jim Spiros were awarded a million-dollar settlement in the state of Illinois and live happily ever after. <laughs>